Hello viewers, this is Wolf here with some more Monster Hunter collectible content, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Capcom Figure Builder Plus The Best Volume 9, 10, and 11. Now essentially what this is, this is of course going to be another pack of those figure builder minis, but this is supposed to be like a compilation pack of what they felt were the best figures from the Volume 9, 10, and 11 packs. So there are some monsters in here that I didn't get yet, in miniature form that I am looking forward to. So I guess we'll just jump into this and take a look at what we get. All right, so we, here we have our pack here. So of course we got a pack of six monsters. So these are supposed to be six of the best monsters out of three of the mini packs here of the Figure Builder series. So I guess we'll take a look at them one by one and then see what we get. So I guess we'll start with this one up here. So, Starting with the top. Ooh. Okay, so of course we're going to be following the same trend as the other ones, where we're going to be getting a clear monster here, or a translucent one. So, the first one we have here is Rathalos. So... So, just taking a look at Rathalos here. So this is actually my first statue version of Rathalos here, so this is kind of interesting. So just taking a look at it, um, I really like the coloration on this. I feel that the oranges on the main body, as well as how they kind of blend up or transition into the black spikes on the center portion look very nice. These sharps actually, uh, these spikes actually feel very sharp here, which is nice. Taking a look at Rathalos' face, of course we got Rathalos' blue eyes, which definitely sticks out a lot. I apologize for the camera not focusing here. But anyways, we got Rathalos' blue eyes there, which do stick out quite a bit from the rest of the body. You can just see right there. Of course, a bit of detail inside the mouth there. Um, just right around here, we can see the spikes just right on the back of the head. And then the little textured section right on the wings here looking very nice. Of course, how it transitions into kind of like a what? Like a cream color, I guess? Like a beige color on the ends of the wings. Looking at the back of the tail here. Of course... Textured very nicely with these spikes here and this little poison barb right at the end, which is pretty cool. And of course the under sections of Rathalos here again, detailed just like the top portion where we have this kind of uh, grayish color at the bottom with some little black lining under here as well, as especially underneath the wings here, which is kind of cool. So, Rathalos being the first monster there, so let's take a look at the next one. So, another clear piece. So the next monster we're gonna look at, is this Nergigante? Yeah, this is Nergigante, wow, okay. I have, <laughs> I've been getting so many Nergigantes from these packs, it's ridiculous. I think I have at least, at least five now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's a ridiculous amount of Nergigantes. Um, I, I don't think there's really much of a point in covering this because I think this is the same Nergigante as the ones that I've unboxed before. So, more or less, the color and the detail is going to be the same. Of course, like, the parts are detachable, the wings. Um, I will attach these at the end of the video and then give you a good look at this, but I won't spend too much time on this. This is pretty much Nergigante. So, on to the next one here. So, we got our next clear piece. And we got Diablos. One of my one of my least favorite monsters in the series. I absolutely hate fighting this thing. He's not fun. But I have a figure of him now, so that's interesting. So with all that said, I mean this model of Diablos does actually look pretty cool. I do like the texturization on the top of the horns here. This actually does look pretty cool because you can kind of see the sh the uh, textured kind of stress cracking on the back portions here of the 
of the horns and then even like the color transition how it goes from like a dark brown into like a, a brighter portion and then there's like different like color imperfections you can kind of see like a black spot right on the tip of the horn there which is kind of interesting right on the body the main body on the back here a bunch of black and brown sections going all the way down the tail of course to its big club-like tail feeling very nicely textured you can actually make out these very subtle spikes here on the top of the tail here which is actually kind of interesting here the inner portion is very textured with a bunch of different colors here from like a kind of a fleshy red color into that typical uh creamy or vanilla color on the outside there which is kind of cool of course the underside of the body is going to have a variety of different colors here from this kind of vanilla color to the orange section where it kind of meets the arms or the wings i guess you could say of course the colors going straight down into black as we get down to the bottom of the legs so that's actually pretty cool when you look onto uh diablos's face here you can kind of make out these little smaller horns right here which is actually kind of interesting and the eyes aren't that noticeable they're just underneath the horn but yeah this actually doesn't look too bad but yeah now i have a uh, diablos there too haunt me in my nightmares. So on to the next one. Oh, this is Legiana. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. I think I do have a Legiana, if I'm not mistaken. So, of course, these... Of course, the wings are detachable here, and I will attach it towards the end of the video. But, yeah, this Legiana is actually looking pretty cool. Um, I'll get on to what I think about the pose once this is once I attach everything together. But just looking at the detail here, it actually looks really nice. I kind of like how the top portion of the body has this wide range of color. We have like these different shades of, of blue here, kind of going into this vanilla color with these black lines on the outside here. This black section here as well. The thighs are kind of textured as well. You can kind of see like how they're kind of ribbed right here as you kind of move around them, which is really interesting. You have these little brown, uh, this brown pattern right here just behind the head, which is interesting. You can kind of make out Velcana's yellow eyes as well. And there's a bit of like a different uh, coloration right here. There's a bit of a green just on that little section just behind the mouth there, which is kind of interesting there. And then of course, these really big textured claws looking really nice. So, really interesting with Falcana there. So on to the next one. All right. Okay, so this is this is the one that I wanted the most from this pack. So we have a, a Dogron right here. So let's take him out of here and give him a good look. All right. This is looking really nice. So here we have a Dogron, and I'm really loving the coloration on this. The shades of red are just right. The various shades as well, um, as well, especially when we look at the the front legs here, looking really cool. And I love the little textured sections uh, with these little black spots going down the body, especially around the around the neck area, looking really nice. So many different black spots here, and then when you look inside the mouth, you can kind of see it has like a bit of like a almost like a bluish grayish kind of look on the inside of the mouth especially on the tongue there looking really cool of course the the teeth looking really wild here they're just shooting out in a bunch of different directions you can see right in there there's so much detail on on the inside of the mouth there which is cool the teeth of course with like these different color imperfections with like these little black sections on the on the outside teeth looking really nice and then of course adogarons main feature here with this dual layered claw thing which is like really freaky but this looks really cool we have these front claws here which are super long super long compared to the top portion and 
this camera just does not want to focus today. But yeah, we have like those super long claws and then of course the, the second layer right on top of them looking very nice here. So that's actually pretty cool. And of course the claws actually look a little bit dirtier here when we look at when we look at these claws here right at the bottom, which is actually pretty cool. This looks really, really wild. And when we take a look at the back of the body, we of course have this kind of yellowish color going all the way down to the tail here to where it kind of turns a bit white. And of course this is very, very nicely textured here. Uh, as you can see with the various spikes going down the top and the bottom and then these little rocky sections right on the sides which is interesting i love this little color shift going from the red into that as well so yeah that adogron looking really nice so far is my favorite of the pack and now we're on to the last one so let's see what we get Oh, so the next one is Valhazak. That's actually kind of cool. So, let's take a look at him. So, of course, Valhazak here is going to come with these wings. Of course, you're going to have to attach them on later on. So, just looking at Valhazak here. So this model of Alhazak looks kind of interesting. I like the way that the the darker sections underneath kind of have a bit of like a it's almost like a metallic-y shine there, which is kind of cool. You can see like this skin or like the flesh kind of hanging off there, looking very nice here. Of course, with these little sharp spikes and hooks all over the body, going kind of lining the back of the body, going all the way down to the tail, into another hook right here at the end of the tail, looking really cool. And then onto the face, take a look here. We can of course see this freaky looking thing here. So we have like almost like a dual layered mouth, which is just so weird looking, but it looks so good the way that they recreated it here in figure form. Looks so nice and you can kind of see the flesh kind of hanging off the sides there. I love the coloration on this and the various texturization here on this, even the spikes going down the kind of knee section of the legs here and on the back of the front legs. Looking really cool. So, oh right, and another thing I almost forgot is this weird design of um, Valhazak's claws. Like how these claws are completely bent sideways. So yeah, like even that's very faithfully recreated here. You can even see right here just how those claws are just very wild looking. So that these are pretty much what come with the pack so i guess i'm just going to attach all of them together and display them up on their stands and then uh give my final impressions of them of course with uh with valhazak right over here so of course we have the wings completely in so now with him kind of standing on his own here you can just see how they detailed the wings here which is which is actually really cool i like how they they made more like opened sections for the wing here to really show that yeah this is just like rotted flesh um, on the wings here so that actually looks really cool especially with the little hooked portions here on the top of the wing and right here as well so this looks really cool especially on the back here so you can see some of the black sections here all around it so it definitely increases Valhazak's size a lot more here too and of course, with Nergigante, again, it's just Nergigante. I'm pretty sure I've showed off this Nergigante before, so not, nothing really too special about that. And then, last but not least, the translucent figure is, of course, a version of Rathalos here. So, of course, we have a nice, very bright translucent red here with Rathalos's body here, which actually looks pretty cool. Um, I like it. It's not too bad. Again... This Rathalos, this specific version, um, the translucent version, does kind of suffer from a similar problem that a lot of these figures in this line, especially the translucent, translucent ones, kind of suffer from, is where some of the connecting parts are very loose. So it's possible that if I like turn this upside down, the wings would fall out. It already has on me when I tried assembling everything together. You won't really find that that to be too much of a problem on the on the main ones, like like uh. 
This one here is not going to do that, and same thing with um, Val Hazak. You're not really going to have these problems, but it's mainly with these ones that you have to assemble each part, like the legs and the wings and everything together, where things, the attachment points start to feel a little spotty. So this one is kind of uh, like, I'm definitely going to try to put this uh, away from my other ones, just so I don't really make too much contact with it, because I don't want to have to reassemble it and everything, even though it's not really that much to reassemble, but still. But yeah, this is pretty much the collection here, um, looking pretty nice. Like, I guess if I were to mention my top three of these, the ones that I think are my favorite, definitely Adogron is there as number one. Of course, we're going to have Legiana here as well. And then I guess Valhazak would probably be my third one here. Um, I really like Valhazak as a monster in the series, as a new original monster. And yeah, his design looks really cool. Very nicely recreated in figure form here. Um, they did a really good job with the colors and kind of recreating the rotted rotted flesh look that um, that Valhazak is kind of known for. But yeah, these are my three favorite here, and this will conclude this box opening of the best of the Volume 9, 10, and 11 packs of the Capcom Figure Builder line. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys found it informative. There's definitely going to be a lot more Monster Hunter collectible content coming in the future, and I hope you guys stay tuned for that. But until then, I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys have a good night or good day, depending on where you are, and I will see you all later.